What's up, it's your boy Myron Jewel, aka Cheatin' Ass Myron, aka Fofo Man, because I be moving the slow motion. Shout out to my boy Hibaka, man. That's my hype, man. Anyways, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, man, by way of Atlanta. Born and raised in Milwaukee, man. You know what's going on, man. 24th and Locust, the heart of the hood, man. When it was killing, stealing, don't date me. They were doing everything over there, man. But I made it out. That's why I'm still alive, man. Shout out to everybody over there from my hood, man. <laughs> so a lot of y'all might know me from social media, man. Cheating ass Myron. I was getting caught cheating. I'm moving in slow motion with the fofo. But something I wanted to do different this time was bring all of my supporters. Because I don't like to say fans, I got supporters because y'all the ones who made me who I am today. But I wanted to make all my supporters feel like they got a better connection with me to bring y'all closer into my personal life. So you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna bring y'all around. I'm gonna show y'all my family, man. I got four nieces and nephews combined that I be in the house with all the time. They irritate my soul. And I got one big head son, he's 15. And I'm about to bring them to the world. I'm about to show y'all what it is to be like Myron Jewel with these nugget head mother <laughs> So this is my niece Malai right here. I wanted you to say your name, but you acting shy. Mm. Tell them how old you are. Six years old. Six years old, okay. This, you got anything you want to say to the people? What do you love about your uncle the most? I love him like your style. <laughs> Dang, so she just be pimping me. So I love when <laughs> she said she loves me. She loves when I give her Starbucks. <laughs> That's it. Am I? Uh, do you think I'm fun or funny or anything like that? Mhm. Mm Which one? Both or just one of them? Both. Both of them. Mhm. Mm All right. Tell them what. What do you want to do? What do you want to start doing? I started doing like TikToks. TikToks. And are you still interested in YouTube or no? Just TikTok. YouTube. So what do you want to do on YouTube? The funny stuff. Funny stuff. So look, hey y'all see we got a house full of comedians. <laughs> she wanna do some funny stuff. We're gonna have to get you a TikTok and a YouTube. So tell them, this is what I want you to, before you walk out, I want you to be like, can you say this? You're like, what's up? My name is Malai Jewel and I'm signing out. And just your time, you gotta shine now. Come on. Like, what's up? My name is Malai Jewel and I'm signing out. No, my name is Malai Jewel and I'm kicking it with my uncle. Peace. Say it, you can remember that? Say it. Say, what's up? My name is Elijah, and I'm signing out. Just say that. Hey, nah, you got to talk clear than that. You ain't no baby. You know how to talk clear. Come on. Where that energy at? You be having all in the house. Come on. Like this. Like, what's up? My name is Elijah, and I'm going to let you do it just so go. My name is Elijah. Oh, go. You got to put me in your nose. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I didn't mean to get the motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, I, was, I definitely was trying to pick it out of nose. I was trying to rub it off, like, and hide it and tuck it. <laughs> it came out. Hey, you can, that's your way. That's your exit. Hey, y'all, this is Malai Jewel. This is my niece. I love her to death. She's seven years old, and she used me for Starbucks. Mm, go. She me. Ugh. So this is my big, this is my big head nephew right here. Tell him, tell him your name, man. Mauricio, but people could just call me Reese. Boy, you don't think you don't try to give yourself a nickname. People, your name Mauricio, Mauricio. People just call you Reese. People call me Reese. How old are you? 15. I can't even get my sense out. How old did you? Huh? Baby Reese. No, cool. Man, we call him, we call him Baby Reese because he named that. He named him the day. We call him. Baby. He don't like that no more though. Baby Reese, man. Fifteen. I'm just. What's up with you? What's up with your hair though, man? Mm -hmm. What's going on, man? You be keeping crispy cuts, man. And then today you didn't get your hair cut. What's up? What's going on with the haircut? That's what I want to know. Let me know in advance, Ali. What you mean that you know? Is. Huh? You let me know in advance, like. Ah, you know, oh, this going, like, this going out there. All those girls gonna see you. Be like, this dude, you look, you look a little, you look a little, yeah. Like a thrift store man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm get it cut tomorrow. Don't you? Tell them some, tell them something about uh, Mauricio that a lot of people might not know. Um, I'm showing the world my family. I just want to get to know y'all. So tell them something that they might not know about you. I'm, I'm actually chill, like right? you know, like when I go to places, I be like goofy and stuff, but like. I really get to know me, I'm just chill. I usually play my game and be on my phone. I play ball, but like I'm not playing this shit. I'm gonna play a summer league now. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. So so ah uh, nah nah we're getting in the mess. Why you ain't playing this year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we gonna know why you ain't playing about did you get cut? Did you nah, I did you cut. Okay, so what happened? Why you ain't playing? It's this story, right? I get in the car. No, it's a story? Oh, yeah, oh, I get, listen. I get, I get in the car. My dick was like, give me a phone. I'm confused. I'm, she said, give me a phone, I'll take the phone out of my pocket and disappoint. I can disappoint me. Give her a phone on the side face. She said, you're not playing on the team, and I'll get my money back. If you can't listen to school, then you, ain't nobody gonna want you. But I was mad. I went in my room and everything started stumping on stuff. I couldn't play ball. Yeah, because you, you couldn't play ball because you was making bad decisions. Yeah, so my dudes, what the heck is that? It's like, uh, moms. Like, moms. Uh, that's that new 2022 stuff or something? You, I guess you 23. 
We say bombs. Ma, I don't Mom know. Dukes. Y'all know Mom Dukes? I thought that was a person. Like a specific person. I've been looking for my dukes for two years. And everybody's already <laughs> like, my dukes. I'm like, that's a celebrity. I thought that was like Mama D or something. Yeah, my dukes. I'm like, who mama is my dukes? I'm serious. I never knew who my dukes. Everybody said my dukes. This I just learned right now when he said my dukes. I'm like, okay. I know he don't know my dukes. So my dukes is anybody mama. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking that. Waka Flocka mama or something. I don't know. Whoever mama. Somebody mama. So tell them something, you know, I mean, that you like about me. What do you like about me and what you don't like about me? Tell both. I want to hear both. You the old you do that little st- 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 stuttering and stuff. <laughs> like, you, what? like you what? talk, you be talking fast. You talk fast, and then when you so serious, you just start stuttering. <laughs> and like, you know me, I just go on the other side. Like, I just when you, when you like when you yelling at me, I turn out of the way because I'm about laughing in your face. You gonna, you gonna boot me up? So I go in the other room and start busting yeah. and laughing because what you stuttering? Right, so that, I'm that like, you know, now I'm start following. You. I'm gonna snap on. I'm gonna follow through the house. Cause if you laugh, you gonna get duped up. No, something I like about you is like I get recognized because you. Like, oh man, you're using me. Look, but look, look. You're using me, man. Look, 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 look. That's not. No, that's not don't the say main. that. Man. That's not the right. No, that's not the main on. reason. No, no. Though. Oh yeah, let me listen. That's not the main Come on, reason. I get recognized because no, of you. But that's not the main reason, though. Mother- like you like a second dad to me. That's what I'm talking about. Like a Tell second yeah. dad to me. And like no matter what, how how much life like be hard or complicated for you, you still push through, and you teach me to be a better person and a better man. So when I grow up, I can be better than you. So my eyes are getting watery. Cause I'm listening. That's why I say, "Ooh, I'm trying to fight it." So I can be better. <laughs> you finna cry. Your eyes are wet. Talk about me. So I can be better. I don't hear them talk. So I can be a better person than you. You know, I love you. Man, get out here. You can make me cry on camera. Go. I love you too. Give me a hug, dog. I love you. Did yeah. yes, he did? You said we be stuck. <laughs> He ain't even make me cry on camera, but yeah. put some filters on my eyes if they look horny. <laughs> All right, so this next person I'm about to bring up, man, my nephew. He hilarious. He funny as hell. Like he, he, he a wild. He a firecracker, man. You, you know, know me? <laughs> and nobody know you, man. How they, how they know you? From my videos and your videos. You well, already know that. Obviously, they, they know him already, so tell, but tell him again, tell him who you is. My name is Marcel Evans, and I'm 11 years old. Now, when I grow up, I want to be a comedian and a YouTuber. Woo! Hey, y'all, if anybody don't know this, man, this is Whoopi Winfrey. You know what I'm saying? That's the name I call him all the time. I call him Whoopi Winfrey. That's like Whoopi Goldberg and, and Oprah you, Winfrey mixer. And I call you Exotic Lizard. Exotic lizard, man. That dude trying to roast me. You can't roast me on camera, bro. Like this, 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 this my, this my stuff. Like you know what I'm saying? What you want to have a steroid? Damn, I blinked. I wasn't even trying to blink, dog. I was trying to. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to blink after this. So, uh, tell him something. Tell him something for real. Okay, now this is a serious part. So, what's something that you like about me a lot? You're funny. You I'm love funny. me, and I love you. I ain't never heard you be this this nice. No, I'm messing with you. <laughs> so what? Um, you got something that you want to say? You got something that you want to say about about something? Or want me to ask you a question? What is one thing? What are some things that you like about me? That I like about you? I like that. That's a good question. I love the fact that you look like Whoopi Winfrey because we ain't got no other family members that look like celebrities. But nah, uh, you smart. You very funny. You gonna be way funnier than me. You very funny. You energetic. You just a, you just a happy kid, man. You know what I'm saying? And you. Wipe your ass when you get off the toilet. What, you dumb or something? <laughs> get away from me, bro. Get away from me, man. You got to see what's safe for your weed, dog. Bye-bye. Man, you been looking at that bye-bye. Bye-bye, you grown as hell talking about bye-bye. <laughs> I can't stand him, man. That's the one that be pissing me off all the time. I be trying to tell him stuff to do, and he be, he like, try me. You know what I'm saying? Clean up. He look at me like, for real, I got to snap on this nigga. So what's up, man? Y'all already know who this is. This is be doing all the viral videos with him. This is my big head son. You just keep growing. You better stop growing, but we just get to tussling every time I see him, man. Tell him who he is. My name is Carl. I'm 15 years old. I play basketball. I'm athletic. I'm chill. I can be goofy at it. Sometimes. 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 Well, no, I depends who I'm around. No, yeah. I was gonna say time I'm sometimes, but you, yeah. Don't let that. Don't let this. Fool you, this boy is a, yeah, yeah, headache. You got, you got hair on your chin? Man, hair on your chin. Who got hair on the chin? Yeah, I do that. He really got hair on his chin. I'm about to let this grow now. You ain't finna get no deeper voice and no bigger beard than me. You crazy as hell, boy. We gonna be this much just slap boxing for no reason. As soon as we wake up, I'm just gonna slap the hell out of him. Pow! So look, what we gonna do, man? What we gonna do, man? Shout out, what's up, man? We wanted to reach back out 
to our supporters and answer some of their questions that they sent in to us. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to have like more of a connection with my supporters. So I had them send in questions that they wanted to know about me, my son, or me and my son. So that's what we're going to do from here. We're going to read, we're going to uh, answer these questions for y'all. And y'all yeah, going to get to tap in and see what the hell going on with us. So what zodiac sign is best to date? Huh? Okay, you can say yo. I don't really know Zodiac, so I ain't gonna lie to you. But I know Cancers, that's all I know. But they like, it's like a gift and a curse with them. They they sweet, they give you the shot off their back, I can tell you that. But them mother, cause it's crazy, man. They crazy, man. The best sign I ever dated was a Cancer, and the worst sign I ever dated was a Cancer. <laughs> What's yours? Well, my best one was a Cancer. That's cause that was the last, the, I mean the longest relationship I was in. And then the worst is, I, for, I don't know what her Zodiac sign is. I just know her birthday in December, but that's the worst. Man, that's so soft. You you had two girlfriends. Why you whispering, man? You don't get in trouble. I'm the daddy. You gotta whisper on your mama. Now you ain't gotta whisper around me. You don't wanna say it. How many girlfriends you done had, man? Damn. Not like that. I'm not just I was just talking about having girlfriends and stuff. I'm so we we gonna cut. You could, no, we ain't cutting it, but I'm saying I'm gonna stop him before he get because his mama gonna watch it. She gonna like you following in your damn daddy footsteps. She gonna blame it on me. But hey, my daddy put it in me and it's in him. It's hereditary. So we blame it on my daddy. Alright? You just blame it on granddad. I'm blaming it on my dad. Same thing. Alright? That's how I go to. For sure. So knowing who my dad is, do I use that to get girls? I don't. See, when I talk to girls, they usually the ones that come to me. And when I first talk to a girl, I don't say who my dad is. Cause I feel like if I tell them, they gonna be like, oh, Cheney ain't my or Mario dad. And I feel like that's gonna be the reason why they wanna talk to me. So I don't be saying that they they find out by themselves, so. I get the girls by myself. I don't need no. not saying like that, but I No, I ain't said it like that. You probably get them by yourself. <laughs> but I don't need him you know, to get girls like I do it by myself. But you can get more if you say my name, I'm telling you. All you gotta do is be like, hey, you know, watch it look. You know, you know who my dad is, right? I'm like, who? Man, look at Myron right there. They're like, that's your dad! They go like call me. You take the number. <laughs> bop bop root off a bop bop bam. And then you tooty fruit it. Bop root it. Get the hell out of there. So what made me get started with comedy was, okay, growing up, I was watching Chris Tucker a lot. I was always a class clown, but seeing Chris Tucker it motivated me. So I always knew I kind of wanted to do comedy, but I didn't know if I was gonna have enough courage, courage, balls. I don't know how to say the word. I didn't know if I was gonna have enough balls to get in front of a crowd and talk, because I used to be scared to give presentations and stuff like that. But as I got, when I started getting a little older, I started seeing the transition from stand-up comedy to social media. So I'm like, hey, I ain't got no money to travel and go state to state. So I was like, let me get on social media because I was seeing DC Young Fly at the time and I started seeing Country Wayne and they were like taking off. And I'm like, I can do this. You know what I'm saying? So me just naturally being silly and um, having a natural grind that I have and just being motivated by like watching Chris Tucker, seeing DC go crazy on Vine, seeing Country Wayne come up on Facebook. It made me be like, I can do it. So I started doing it. And then I also felt like the bigger I get, this is my natural gift that God gave me. So let me perfect this. And the better I get with this and the more I do it, that's more revenue and everything to give my family a better life. So me looking at them, every time I'm gone or I come home, it make me want to go even harder. Cause it's like, my sister got a nice career right now. But it's like, man, this could be a mansion. Or we could just have a big house with 10 bedrooms. We all living there together. Like, I think like, you know? So motivation is, my family definitely motivates me a lot though. Do I like doing skits or do I just like doing them because of my dad? I don't really don't mind doing skits just in general. So, I mean, you be telling me like we can do something. I just be alright. And plus, I'm used to it. So. Sometimes, like, do you not want to do it and just do it because he wants you to? I feel like the only time I wouldn't feel like if I'm, if I'm, like I'm, I'm doing something, like if I'm just like if I'm on the game or something, and he'll call me that the only time. But I mean, I don't mind. When he ain't doing do nothing it. then. <laughs> Somebody, if I want to do nothing. No, he ain't say if he on his phone. Yeah, he said if I, don't, he said if I ain't doing nothing, then I don't mind. But if I'm doing something, I'm then the he game. said, but like if I'm on the game, the game is doing nothing. Man. <laughs> so let me ask you this: so when you're on the game, right? So these videos go make money and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. What do you get for playing the game? You can get money from playing games. No, what the what depends? What uh, money to put in your pocket? Yes. I mean, like if you live streaming and stuff like that, right? But that ain't what yeah. you're doing. You just playing it. Yeah. <laughs> you just playing it with everybody else talking stuff. Like, man, get up, why you shoot me, man? You ain't live streaming, like twitching or nothing. If you were twitching, then I wouldn't even take you off the game. What type of changes am I making to the world? Uh, I feel like the change that I'm making to the world, personally, is uh, showing people that 
that you and this is sound like typical stuff but this is like it's like once i started doing it it's like because before i started doing it i used to feel like ah, everybody say that you know what i'm saying but when you start doing it but i feel like that i'm i'm actually showing everybody I, my family people that i don't know that whatever it is you put your mind to that you can do it you know what i mean and i'm also changing the world by bringing laughter into people's lives who's going through stuff it could be uh it could be mental health it could be depression uh loss of a marriage you know what i mean you could have lost uh, a a loved one that's how i feel like i'm changing the world man you know it's just people every laughter heals the soul and that's that's true so it's a lot of things that people go through that when they watch me on social media or if they come to a comedy show it changes their moods and enlighten them and it, it makes them erase any devils they're fighting or whatever they're doing at the time so i'm definitely healing the world with laughter my relationship with my family is uh amazing man so we have a big family. We have a real big family, honestly, but once my grandmother passed in 2004, our family kind of got segregated. So it's like, I don't, all the cousins that I grew up with that I was close with, we was all like a big old family. It's, it's scattered now, so I barely see anybody, but me and my sister and her kids, like that's like our immediate family, you know what I mean? So we are extremely tight and I'm still tight with my family. I just don't see them as much as I used to, you know? So I pray all the time that everybody's still doing good. Everybody's good, everybody healthy, ain't nobody dead. But our, our, our relationship is extremely tight. It's loving, it's, it's fun, it's happy. We have ups and downs, but that's any, you know, any family relationships and stuff. But other than that, man, I have, and there, like I said, there are reasons that I go so hard. Did the, comic, did the comic part of the family start with me or did I inherit it? I feel like I inherited it, if that's a word. Inherited it. <laughs> I don't know, y'all get what I'm saying? Because the reason being, I'm the first one to make it a career you know what i mean i'm the first one but i had like my dad was hilarious my dad my father was like he was retarded bro like he told me so many crazy stories and just so goofy i didn't see so much stuff in him my mom was silly my biological mom she was super she was very silly uh and i have an uncle that was like one of my favorite uncles my uncle darren he was super goofy you know what i'm saying he was silly as hell and i was around him a lot so i feel like they all had the same gift i had but it wasn't their passion you know so it kind of converted over to me and it became my passion. And then I put it on the map. And my sister, I got a sister that's funny as hell too. And everybody tell her to do comedy, but she won't do it, but she's funny as hell naturally. So it just, it's just in us. And I'm a nephew, crazy as hell. So yeah, it's in our family, it's definitely in our DNA. Who is my favorite comedian? In general, I'll say my dad. And I'm not just saying that just because he's my dad, also. Yes, you are. I'm, I'm for real, I'm really not saying that, but. And then, like my favorite, like besides my father, like other comedians, I'll probably say, but to me, I don't got no favorite outside comedian, to be honest. I'll just be, I'll just be listening and watching everybody, but in general, it's really my dad. But it been, but I'm not even saying that because he's my dad. It was been like that since I was young. Yeah, you ain't got to explain that, man. You didn't watch the growth. You seen it, man. He used to try to pass out my uh, business cards before I was even on social media. He was like in the fourth grade. I looked in his bag, he had a whole bunch of my business cards. I was like, what you doing with those? He said, I'm gonna press them all at school. I said, they can't come to a comedy show, man. <laughs> but he was supportive, you know what I mean? I never asked him to do that. Or we used to go into the malls, right before we was going to the malls, he'd be like, Dad, you sure you don't want to take no pen with you? Because people gonna want your autograph. And I'm like, man, he thinking like this already? It's like he seen it, what was about to come, and I didn't, I didn't even see that yet. I wanted that, but he was already looking ahead. He was like, when he said that, he probably was like six, seven. He was young, so yeah. He watched the grind from the bottom to the top, so that's that got a lot to do with it as well. You know what I mean? What is my next big move? I really want my next big move to be coming into this year. I want to be in a lot more independent films. You know what I mean? Uh, big films as well, but you know you got to start somewhere. You know, commercials. But my main thing that I also want to do is uh, uh, start my own comedy tour. One of the biggest things that I want to accomplish is starting my own like production with my family and hopefully get it like on TV, right? It's Netflix, I don't care, Tubi, Prime, any big network, but I just wanna bring my supporters into my life and put my family on, you know what I mean? Cause I got a hilarious family and call it the Jewel family, all our last name Jewel. And just, that'd be like the biggest accomplishment to me out of anything. Like I would rather do that before I be in the movie first and then get in the movie if I could. So stay tuned cause this is gonna happen.